lights, look at that. ABS lights, it even says I've got the puncture, even though I don't have a puncture. Hello, you lovely people, and welcome back to another episode, another, another vlog. I um, got up, got dressed, as you can see I'm full of, it's a bit dirty, bit of um, stuff, because I just uh, basically went in the back of my car, drove to be in the dealership, then, put my, then got my bike out of the car, handed the keys in, because the BMW was going for a, um, a car back. I recars the car and perhaps something to do with the AC unit, I don't know. Told them I'd like them to check some out. Could have cost about 100 and some quid to plug my car and to figure exactly what's wrong with it. I was like, nah, scratch that. So I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe they'll be nice and be like, they've got to plug it in here to diagnose something. They'll see there's some faults with it. Who knows, we'll find out. Um, part of the key doesn't say it's got faults, they said. But hopefully they'll turn it over and they'll see ABS and flat tire even though there is no flat tire because I checked, I pumped the tyres up um, I checked them um, so, some, so there is definitely an electrical fault within the car I don't know what it's all about um, we'll see, we'll soon see but I dropped it off rid all the way tow path um, back home to track it on my uh, my Garmin 445 smartwatch and I tracked it also on Strava on the Strava from my iPhone there is, and also at the end, my clothing brand and my gimmick, let's get it. As you can see there, so it's a bit dirty. Um, but you know, when I ride, if you get dirty, you get dirty. You can be washed, not bothered. It needs washing anyway, so I just did that. Um, so yeah, also if you haven't already, be nice. I've got 120,000 views. I'm getting 5,000 views a month. About 240 subscribers, 90% of you lot aren't subscribed to me. It costs nothing to subscribe, just subscribe. Thanks to God again. And um, yeah, let's get it. Let's go. Yes, look at that. ABS lights, it even says I've got the puncher, even though I don't have a puncher. The, uh... Basically, my car has got a. Um electrical problems because sometimes the door says it's open when it's not and it says it's got ABS so right now I'm taking it to for, to BMW because it's been, it's been asked for a recall um, basically so I'm taking it to there to BMW I'm, gonna, I'm cycling back on the towpath see if I can do six seven miles in half an hour let's see if I can do that um, see if BMW can actually try and find out what's actually wrong with the car because it's obviously got oil problems as well which I don't know why, how it's got oil problems because I've had changed both oil sensors uh, it's just doing my not nothing so uh, yeah this is not going to be a great one I mean hopefully that's why I can't sell a damn car so if it's a cheap fix if it's cheap fix I might keep the car if it's not then it might be a wee behind a car deal giving it away to their auto motorway depending on how much it's going to cost to fix so let's uh, see what goes on and uh, yeah I'll get back to you because I get the car back tonight after it's been plugged in I'll see what the verdict is I know I don't know if, this, if, the, if the video footage is, is, is clear or dark or whatever with this, with this right now but basically what can I say I've got a uh, the verdict back on my car and it's great and that is being sarcastic to be honest um, what, so what's wrong with it, apart from the app, I've cleaned it beautifully in here and I'll show you that tomorrow in the light but what's actually wrong with it well like I said the ABS light is on they couldn't do a proper diagnosis but I think they have found out that even though I've had um, both oil sensors changed uh, there's an oil leak somewhere underneath the um, the exhaust is blowing but which I already which I already knew about that to be honest um, what else is wrong with it well obviously BMW costs are always way 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 higher than most people. My car's worth about two and a half, 
2.8 and it said the, the, the work will cost about 2.4 so it's not really worth fixing at BMW but I am going to send it to the place I normally go to or ask them to call up and say is it worth it because apparently there's four um, drive shafts on this on this on this car and they said they all need replacing but it didn't come up with MOT two months ago so how can all four all of a sudden need replacing I think BMW personally are being a bit melodramatic or just a bit over the top like like big dealerships do they go you need this doing this doing this doing this doing this doing so does it need doing I don't know but also do I get rid of it that's the other thing do I get rid of this damn I mean, it needs fixing because his ABS light keeps coming on and off so do I need it do I need it fixing obviously I do need it fixing but how do I get rid of the ABS light will a service fix it I don't think a service will fix it personally but we'll find out shall we um, but uh, it went in like I said for a recall something to do with the air conditioning um, wiring in the back it went in for that um, and that's what changed it's like I said they've, they've complimentary did a nice clean inside and out which is lovely I appreciate that but now it's a case of do I fix the damn thing or just give it to Weebuy in a car or motorway and say it's got this take two grand for it cut my losses i don't know what do i do hmm but what car do i get in place of of this car because i've seen a seat leon estate which is what i want six and a half grand they said they give it to me it should be say seven they give me for six and a half it's done it's a 14 plate it's done a 70,000 miles do I do I get that the only thing is it's 75 miles from my house I don't know what do I do you tell me uh, I'll see you back at the house I think I might just leave it running actually because why not I want to see how good this um, it is actually if it's light this um, this video angle if it's light because it is the dark if it is it is it light is it workable? Um, is the car worth fixing? I've had nothing but troubles with this car, really. But it has got me places, it's got me to work I've made. It's got me to places, and it's served me well. Three years, nearly four years. Is it three? Is it on eight? Yeah, just over three years I've had this car, and it's more and more shit keeps going on, going wrong with it. So what do I do with it? Do I keep it and fix it for cheap or do I get just get rid of it and cut my losses? I just don't know. I need you lots to help me out with this one because if you can see me, if you can, if you can, if you can see me nicely, if you can't see me, I'm sorry. Um, it's just I'm testing this out, I'm guessing because it's the dark, you can't see me, but if you can, sweet. I'll be locking up the footage. Take that off the wall, you don't hear me waffling on now, do you? So here's my car. Uh, nice and clean. BMW have uh, cleaned it nicely and lovely, as you can see. Lovely. Wheels don't look too bad. Let's look inside, shall we? Look at this. BMW do a pretty good job, don't they, to clean the car? I mean, looks very good. Get rid of that. Got a few things. Looks nice. Looks lovely. Should we see the boot? It smells. Still, they do an alright job, BMW do, I'll be honest. Now, to be honest, the boot doesn't smell too bad now. I don't know what they've done with it, that the BMW, to get rid of the smell of the boot. The boot just doesn't smell that bad. Realistically, I'll put it up here so you can see me, because you don't really want to see me, but you know. Basically, it does look alright. I've looked at the video that BMW sent me, and it isn't all four drivetrains, it's the rear drivetrains, the two of them. Um, and obviously like the oil is a sump, is down below and is a sump and that's probably the problem of that and uh, what was the other one? And the exhaust isn't a quick weld up basically just below where I'm sat in the front seat there's a flexible bit which is coming away, it's corroded, it needs replacing according to the place so it's not a quick fix but I've asked them to, to give it a quote me 
to find out, let me know. So that will find out what they say. They say it won't cost a grand, but still, that's still a third, more than a third, almost a half what the car's worth used. I mean, if I get it fixed, it doesn't smell that bad. I could maybe get three and a half for it because the used market is going up. I've been looking actually at Ford Focuses, maybe not estate ones because every estate car, see, or 98% of them are diesel. I don't want a diesel. Sometimes I go to London. I don't, I don't know, what do I do? I'll get you. They said it won't cost a grand. And you'll have to lift the car up to see where it might, because it might just be the sump plug that the screw might have gone. The sump might be gone, might need a new sump. That could be a couple of hundred quid. So it could amount to a grand. Who knows? We're going to find out. Um, but yeah, uh, it does look good, this car. When it's clean, it looks lovely. Do I cut my losses? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Should I just get rid of the thing and uh, another car, new adventures, less negativity about my cars and more happiness about my cars? Cause I don't like to be negative, but it seems most videos about this, about my car, have been negative. I don't like it. I want to be happy with what I drive. I'm happy with me with my motorbike and other stuff. So why am I not happy about my car? I need to be really happy with what I'm driving. Um, so yeah. Uh, I want to be happy because life's good. Um, well, this car's a burden. Do I get rid of it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But effectively, this video is basically over. Um, thanks again for watching. As I said, don't forget to subscribe down there. Uh, yeah, see you soon.